guys, it's Jessica and you're watching Working Girl Dishes. Today I'm here with my hubby who awkwardly wants to come in. <laughs> now we're going to be in the kitchen today. We're going to be making a one pot chili mac and this is a man friendly recipe. So I wanted to start a little bit of a new series called Man Friendly Recipes with Mikey. So we're going to be making <laughs> recipes that men and women love and they're really easy so if he wanted to make this himself he totally could so the recipe is like a one pot chili mac and it's just made with ground beef you can do it with ground turkey mm -hmm. um i wanted to beef it up today for the man in my life get a little bit of red meat in ya <laughs> <laughs> and it has like macaroni some peppers and it all cooks in one pot so the macaroni cooks in the pot too so it's Really easy, really simple. And it's quick, yeah. Quick. quick. Yeah. And if you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit this little red button. I'm gonna link it right here. Show it, Mikey. Point at it. Uh, uh, uh. And <laughs> yeah, I think it is. And then I'm gonna link all my social medias down below and I will write out the whole recipe as well. So go down below and check out that description box. And you got anything else to say? Nope. Thank you for checking us out. Checking her out. <laughs> checking, checking the channel out. Yeah. All right, let's head into the kitchen. Okay, so what you'll need for the chili mac is some olive oil, two tablespoons, a half a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, one 15 ounce can of black beans rinsed and drained, two 15 ounce cans of stewed tomatoes with the liquid, one and a half cups of elbow macaroni. This is a whole wheat version two and a half cups of water, some salt, and then a half a teaspoon of cumin, two tablespoons of chili powder to spice it up. You'll need three cloves of garlic chopped, one green bell pepper chopped, one jalapeno chopped up, and then one onion chopped up. And then one pound of lean ground beef. You can also do lean ground turkey as well. So go ahead and heat up your olive oil over medium high heat. All right, put it in, baby. <laughs> and once the olive oil is heated up a little bit, you're going to add all your veggies in. So your onion, garlic, jalapeno, bell pepper go in and they're going to saute for about three to four minutes just until they're a little bit softened. And just make sure you give them a little stir while they're cooking. Got some onion on the ground. You got onion on the ground? It's on your toe! <laughs> and then you're gonna add your ground beef and cook it until it's brown. Where's the beef? Here's the beef. Okay. We're doing this grass-fed organic ground beef. It's delicious. You so can, much better than the regular. You can make it with ground turkey as well. We've done that before. Yeah. And as the ground beef is cooking, you just have to make sure you break it up into smaller pieces. And then we're gonna spice up our lives and add some chili powder. We're gonna add two tablespoons, so quite a bit. It gives it nice flavor and color. And then a teaspoon of salt, or it's to taste. If you wanna add a little bit more, you can. And then a half teaspoon of cumin. Spicing it up. Oh yeah. Matt. Make a chili mac song. Chili mac. You don't know how to act. Mac daddy. Mm. Mikey's a chili mac daddy. <laughs> chili mac daddy. And then the rest of the ingredients pretty much go in. So you're going to add in your stewed tomatoes, both cans. And then you're going to add in your one and a half cups of macaroni that are dry, not cooked. So you're just going to add those right in. And then you can add in your black beans that have been rinsed and drained. And then next comes the water. It's two and a half cups of water. And then you're just gonna give that a stir and go ahead and turn up the heat and bring it to a boil, a nice little bubble there. And then you're just gonna reduce the heat to about medium low and then cover and simmer for about 12 minutes until the noodles are tender. 
And then once it's done, it's going to be a little bit liquidy, so I like to let it sit on the stove with the lid off just to kind of soak up all that liquid. And then I go ahead and add in my cheese, sprinkle it right on. And then you can give it a nice stir just to combine everything. Sure. Mo, do you want some? Did you want some? I think she wants some. And here is the finished product. It's actually a pretty low fat dish and it packs so well, so it's perfect for leftovers and lunches the next day. We just topped it with some sour cream, maybe some hot sauce, a little cilantro, and you're good to go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mikey just had a great idea. What kind of cooking should we do? Naked cooking. Naked cooking. Yeah. They're more they're more guy appealing <laughs> rather than quinoa and <laughs> <laughs> and if you're new to my channel, <sighs> thank you for stopping by. <laughs> Hope you like it. We do a little bit of cooking, a little bit of crafts, we do all kinds of stuff. <laughs> I, think that, I think the subscribe is fine. Unique New York. How now, brown cow? How now? <laughs> oh, the <laughs> Movie, you want some? <laughs> it's hot. That's why I don't let my husband cook.